Hey, this is MacHeads101. My name is Jake. And as promised, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you um, a relatively easy way to animate with some frames in Java. So I'm just going to show you these uh, frames. And um, here's the frames. I imported them in the last tutorial. It's just um, 15 frames of this little creature eating a cheeseburger. And I did not make these frames, just to give credit where credit's due. They're made by a different member of MacHeads 101, and that's the guy who makes all our Flash tutorials. He made them for me. Uh, I told him I was going to be making a tutorial on animating in Java, and so I asked him for some frames, and he gave me some frames. So, uh, yeah. So the first thing we're going to do here is um, pro make, an, make a timer. Private timer and I'll call it animator and what a timer does is you give it a number and then an action listener and the number is going to be how many milliseconds it's going to wait before it does the action listener again all right so then we have private image icon and we're actually going to have an array of them so I'll call it image array and this is going to have array is going to store all our frames. And then I'm going to make three ints here private int delay, which is equals 50. So that's going to be how long before we switch frames for each frame. The delay, 50. Total frames equals 15 because we have 15 frames. And current frame and equals zero. And current frame is going to be. Um, actually changing based on what frame we're on but right now we're going to set it to zero because we want to start at the very first frame so now we make the constructor public second and in here we're going to do a few things one image array equals new image icon total frames and basically total frames is equal to 15 so I could just put 15 in there but then there would have been no point in making total frames. So basically this just means we created an array and it's going to be storing 15 image icons which are going to be our 15 frames. So now is a really cool way to add all of them if you name them something very similar. I named all mine frame 0.png, frame 1.png, frame 2.png and I did that for a very specific reason because I learned about a way that I can add all these elements um, with just two lines of code and it's going to be a loop for int i equals zero i is less than image array dot length and if this doesn't make all, all that much sense to you now I promise it'll make sense um, by the end of the tutorial because I'm probably going to go over everything too so i plus plus so basically here's what we're going to do we're going to do image array i equals so we're actually going to be looping through this array and assigning it a value assigning each space in the array in a uh, value and how we're going to do that is new Im image icon and in here we normally put give it a string which is the name of our icon so since I named them all something very similar I can do frame plus i because that's the only part in my name that actually changed dot png cut so when i equals zero zero element is going to equal frame zero because i can do this because i named them frame zero one two three four five six seven eight whatever and the only reason i made i what i change is because um that's the only thing in my name that changes and it's just an integer so basically if I had named them something completely different I couldn't use this I couldn't do this but it saves you so much code so that's why I named them all like that so it's gonna loop through this and assign it um, the value of one of the frames in that order so now I'm just gonna do animator equals new timer and I'm gonna give it it takes two parameters uh, delay and this and that's gonna be this action listener 
And then I just have to uh, start it because it doesn't start by default. Uh, you can also stop it. And in the next tutorial, we're actually going to be uh, making two buttons to start and stop it. But that's getting a little ahead of myself. So now, outside this constructor, we do public void paint component. And if you remember from the last tutorial, graphics G, that's what allowed us to draw our images to the window. And that's how we're going to be doing this. So public void paint component graphics G super dot paint component G. Okay. So now here's the cool part. Image um, array current image or current frame actually I called it current frame dot paint icon this which is going to be this G because we're going to be using G to paint it and zero zero which is just this X and Y the X and Y coordinates of its top left corner so current right now current frame equals zero so it's just going to print um it's just going to do zero so if I do current frame plus plus each time this method gets called current frame is going to increase by one more and basically all the action listener is going to do is allow us to call this method again so every 50 milliseconds is going to call this method again and when it calls the method again current frame goes up one so it then draws the next frame and we have to make an if statement to see if current frame is greater than or equal to um image array dot length as in if it's reached the end of the animation started again at zero so you can continue the animation otherwise it would go once and then crash so if current frame is uh, greater than or equal to image array dot length current frame equals zero. I spelled current wrong. Okay. Yeah. So essentially if it's reached the end of the animation, restart it. That's what that means. Okay, and then now what we have to do is make it so we can call this method again. And we have to do that in the action listener because that's what's being called every 50 milliseconds. So public void action performed action events e and I'm just gonna do repaint and all repaint means is clear all the graphics clear all the images and then call this method again so what it does is it gives us a clean canvas and calls it again so every 50 milliseconds remove whatever image was there and then it's going to increase current frame, so then it's going to do the next image. So essentially, every 50 milliseconds, it's going to get rid of the old image and do the new one. And that's how animation works. And in here, you can see I did all this stuff, F dot add S, all that, and uh, the size 500 by 400. I just did this all already because I knew um, there was going to be a lot of explaining to do, and I didn't want to go over how long YouTube permits it. So now we're going to run this, and you'll see the animation. There we go. He is um, eating a cheeseburger, and it's wonderful. All right, so thank you for watching Mac has 101. Subscribe and goodbye.